It's just absolutely untrue, period. Just lies. Breaking now at 5, D.C.'s mayor fights back as a D.C. corruption scandal reaches new heights. A local businessman admits to funding millions of dollars in illegal shadow campaigns for D.C. politicians. And now, all eyes are on D.C.'s mayor, Vincent Gray. Now, those are allegations that the mayor is continuing to deny. But today, businessman Jeffrey Thompson pleaded guilty to conspiring to violate federal and local campaign finance laws. He is accused of funding shadow campaigns for a number of D.C. politicians, including Mayor Gray. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live tonight from the courthouse. Evening, Sam. Uh, we spoke. Uh, you just spoke with Gray within the past hour. What did he have to tell you? Well, Leon, as you just heard in that sound that you played there, he is denying that uh, this is true. He uh, he had said that he wanted, to, he was looking forward to this day, thinking that this would be a day that Jeffrey Thompson would make a plea deal that would clear him, Vincent Gray. But the mayor seemed to admit today that while he says these allegations are not true, uh, less than a month before an all-important primary election, he says Jeffrey Thompson has hurt him. The longtime mystery man in this scandal, Jeffrey Thompson, got out of a cab today and walked into federal court to plead guilty to conspiracy, in which he alleges D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray, as a candidate in 2010, not only knew about the illegal campaign, but asked him for $425,000 face to face. According to the statements in the plea deal, Gray aide Vernon Hawkins first approached Thompson for the money, and Thompson told him only if Gray asked him personally. So a dinner was set up at Gene Clark Harris's home where Thompson alleges candidate Gray handed him a one-page budget for $425,000. Both Clark and Hawkins have already pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI in this case. According to court papers, Thompson was generous with his spending on D.C. campaigns that was excessive and unreported, in other words, illegal. In mayoral campaigns, he gave to Gray's shadow campaign in 2010 $668,000, allegedly, and also allegedly $278,000 in the Fenty Crop campaign in 2006, though the papers did not identify who received the money. And in council races in 2007, he allegedly gave illegally $20,000 to a Ward 4 candidate. In 2008, 100000 each to two at-large candidates, one of them Michael Brown. In 2010, 26,000 to a Ward 6 candidate, 140,000 to a Ward 1 candidate, and in 2011, 148,000 to an at-large candidate. They weren't named. And Thompson said that in dealing with Gray, he told Gray to call him Uncle Earl because he was afraid that uh, the then mayor, Adrian Fenty, would find out about all of this and retaliate. Uh, and so prosecutors said when he gave $425,000 to Gray at that meeting that Gray said, thank you, Uncle. We asked Gray about that today. He said occasionally he did call uh, Jeffrey Thompson uncle, but that he wants the public to believe it did not involve what Thompson was talking about. I, I think people have been hearing this now for over three years. Um, I, it's very unfortunate that this has occurred. Uh, it's very unfortunate. I mean, I'm sure there are people who will raise questions about, you know, what the motivation is of someone to have, um, you know, said these things. I think probably some of that, you know, one can speculate, but it's, it's pretty obvious to me, you know, what the motivation could be. What do you there, how many, how many campaigns were you know, uh, shadow campaigns were set forth in those documents that were uh, before the court. And, um, you know, my understanding is that one could get six, what, six months uh, for this. So that isn't much. And that's right. It's six months that he faces, that Jeffrey Thompson faces if he cooperates. He also has charges on the federal level. He's facing 18 months for various charges on the federal level for campaign irregularities. But under this deal, if he cooperates, the 18 months federal time would go away. He would be facing at most six months of uh, for the local incidents plus three years probation. Reporting live from the U.S. District Court, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. Okay.